Barack Obama? Well, Obama's uh, top advisor is, uh, is a big name, Brzezinski. Uh, Brzezinski uh, gave an interview uh, to the French press a number of years ago where he boasted about the fact uh, that it was he who created the whole Afghan jihadi movement, the movement that produced uh, Osama bin Laden. And he was asked by the interviewer, well, don't you think this might have had some, uh, some bad uh, consequences? And Brzezinski replied, uh, absolutely not. It was definitely worth it because we were, uh, we were going after the Soviets. We were getting the Soviets. Another top Obama person. I think his comment actually was what's a few riled up Muslims. Zbig Brzezinski. Zbigniew Brzezinski was counselor for strategic and, uh, and international studies, professor of American foreign policy of Johns Hopkins, national security advisor to President Jimmy Carter, trustee and founder of the Trilateral Commission, member of the Council on Foreign Relations, international advisor to several major cor corporations, associate of Henry Kissinger, also worked for Ronald Reagan in intelligence capacities co-chairman of the Bush National Security Advisory Task Force in 1988. What a guy. Seabig. Now, if you want to get really, 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 really angry, go buy this book. It's called The Grand Chessboard. American Primacy and its Geostrategic Objectives. Written by Zbigniew Brzezinski in 1997. I'm going to read you some quotes from that book. The most immediate task is to make certain that no state or combination of states gains the capacity to, to expel the United States from Eurasia or even, to or even to diminish significantly its decisive arbitration role. In the long run, Global politics are bound to become increasingly uncongenial to the concentration of hege hegemonic power in the hands of a single state. Hence, America is not only the first as well as the only truly global superpower, but is also likely to be the very last. And what does he say that's going to happen? He says that the United States will fold into a one world government in which all nations will cease to exist run by corporations. I'm paraphrasing it. Now, hold your breath. Very last pages in the book. Moreover, as America becomes an increasingly multicultural society, it may find it more difficult to fa fashion a consensus on foreign policy issues except in the circumstance of a truly massive and widely perceived direct external threat. Read it again, she said. Maybe I should read this with a German accent. Wait a minute. Moreover, as America becomes an increasingly multicultural society, it may find it more difficult to fashion a consensus on foreign policy issues, except in the circumstance of a truly massive and widely perceived direct external threat. Listen, I want you to know that the Third Reich did not lose the Second World War. It just changed venues.